Hey guys, welcome back, Glass Moon Gaming, with another reaction. Um, today it's Two for Tuesday, where I bring you two songs in the same genre. Uh, my goal is to continue this theme with rap and hip hop artists, and also keep it to rap about political stuff. I'm going to try my hardest to make sure the artists have opposing views, but remember, I'm not very familiar with the rap genre, so I may be way off on this base. Um, we're going to start this off with Kendrick Lamar's Mad City, and following it up with Samson's Sixth Sense. I'm going to guess these two have uh, definitely have different views, but uh, I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like button. Um, every like shows you two that you guys are enjoying my content and gets my videos out to more and more people. Uh, we, we're on our way to a 1,000 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know whenever I drop new content. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't aren't subscribed to watch my reactions, um, and I hope today I can earn your subscription. Um, leave suggestions you have for other songs, artists, bands you'd like me to react to in the comments below, and I'll be sure to add it to my list. Let's get right into this. Link to the original video or I should say a link to this video will be in the description below. Um, this is a lyric video. If I can find the official video, I will link that as well. If I rose in Crips all got along, they probably got me down by the end of the song. Seem like the whole city go against me Every time I'm in the street, I hear Yuck, 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 yuck Man down, where you from, nigga? Fuck who you know, where you from, my nigga? Where your grandma stay, huh, my nigga? This mad city I run, my nigga Brace yourself, I take you on a trip down memory lane This is not a rap or I'm slinking crack or moo cocaine This is cold as second, plenty cognac and major pain not the drill sergeant, but the stress that weighing on your brain. It was me, El Boogie, yeah, yeah, why you lucky? Ride down Rosecrans, it got ugly, waving your hand out the window. Check yourself, uh, warriors and conans, hope euphoria can slow dance with society. The driver's seat, the first one to get killed. Seen a light-skinned nigga with his brains blown out. At the same burger stand with tank out. Now this is not a tape recorder saying that he did it. But ever since that day, I was looking at him different. That all right, so I'm obviously way out of the loop here. I don't know what half the stuff he's talking about is. That's fine. Um, you guys are more than welcome to explain it to me in the comments below. Uh, it seems like a pretty, pretty straightforward rap. He's talking. He's telling a story, though. I just don't know who any of the people are involved. If they're even real people, uh, you guys will have to let me know. I was back when I was nine. Joey packed a nine. Pack a stand on every porch is fine. We adapt to crime. Pack a van with four guns at a time. With the sliding door. Fuck it up. Fuck you shooting for. If you ain't walking up, you fucking punk. Picking up the fucking pump. Picking up, you sucker, sucker, dick or die. A sucker punch. A wall of bullets coming from AKs, ARs, AR, duck. That's what mama said when we was eating that free lunch. Oh man, goddamn, all hell broke loose. You killed my cousin back. In 94, fuck your truce. Now crawl your head in that noose. You wind up dead on the news. Ain't no peace treaty, just peace and BG's up to pre approve. Bodies on top of bodies, IVs on top of IVs. Obviously, the current up between the sheets like the Aussies. All right, so they're actually talking about, uh, they're talking about some gang war, uh, going back and forth, talking about what appeared to be a drive by. Uh, and my guess is this is a take on what. The city life is like for them. The gang life is like. I, mean, I, I honestly don't. I'm the wrong person to ask about this. I live in the boondocks. Uh, I mean, I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, I'm not a big rap fan like I've said before. But I don't think I would have needed the lyrics for this one. I can certainly understand it. When you hop on that trolley, make sure your color's correct. Make sure your corporate or they'll be calling your mother <laughs> collect. They say the governor collect all of our taxes except when we in traffic and tragic happens. That shit ain't no threat. You moving backwards if you suggest that you sleep with a tech. Go buy your chopper and have a doctor on speed dial, I guess. Mass City. Bend down. Where you from, nigga? Fuck who you know. Where you from, my nigga? Where your grandma stay, huh, my nigga? Go 
against me. Every time I'm in the street, I hear yak, yak, yak. Is yak, 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 is that gunfire? I don't know. Uh, let's keep going. Looks like it's going to change, but who knows? Wake your punk ass up. Just, this is like old school now. This is the rap I grew up with, this style. It ain't nothing but a cop in fact. Chill. Real simple and plain. We teach you some lessons about the street. street, 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 street. How we do? Fresh out of school, cause I was a high school grad. Sleeping in the living room of my mama's bed. Reality struck, I seen a white car crash. The light pole, two niggas hopped out on foot and dashed. My pop said I needed a job, I thought I believed him. Security gone for a month and ended up leaving. In fact, I got fired, cause I was inspired by all of my friends. To stage a robbery the third Saturday, I clocked in. Projects tow up, gang signs get thrown up. Cocaine laced in marijuana. And they wonder why I really smoke now. Imagine if your first blunt had you foaming at the mouth. Oh, oh, oh. I'm straight tweaking the next week and we pro even. I made a legion that made a promise to see you bleeding. You know the reasons, but still let never know my life. Kendrick, aka Compton's human sacrifice. Yeah. Cocaine, weed. Niggas been mixing shit since the 80s, low. Sharm stays bug naked. Death, make a nigga flesh. Cluck heads all up and down the block and shit. One time's crooked as shit. Block a nigga in. A laundry. Rose class bullets. What's cop? I'm still in the hood. No, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the hood took me under, so I follow the rules. But yeah, that's like me. I grew up in the hood where they bang. And niggas that rep colors is doing the same thing. Pass it to the left so I can smoke on me. A couple drive-bys in the hood lately. A yeah. couple of IPs with the fucking spray can. Shots in the crowd, then everybody ran. Hood been a slave, street life I crave. Shots at the enemy, horse turn brave. Mount up, regulators in the whip. Down the boulevard with the pistol grip. Yeah. Trip, we in the hood still. So low grab strap, cause yeah, is so real. Yeah. Deal with the outcome of strap in the hand. And the burn 10 grams where motherfuckers stand. If I told you I killed a nigga at 16, would you believe me? Or see me to be innocent Kendrick you seen in the street with a basketball and some now latest to eat. If I'm mashing all of my skeletons, would you jump in the seat? All right, we'll go back a little bit and catch this a little bit. No, this seems like it's uh, it's a guy who's still in the hood who never got out. Don't know. You guys are definitely going to have to explain this stuff to you. I'm new as hell to rap. I don't listen to it. When I was younger, I listened to this style, and this this is classic rap hip hop style. All right, let's get back into this. Street with a basketball and some now latest to eat. If I'm mashing all of my skeletons, would you jump in the seat? Would you say my intelligence now is great relief? And it's safe to say that our next generation maybe can sleep with dreams of being a lawyer, a doctor, instead of boy with a chopper. They hold the code as like hostage. Kill them all if they gossip. The children of the corn, they penalize and the option of living a lie. Drive their body with toxins, constantly drinking and drive. Hit the powder, then watch this flame. That The dreams of being a lawyer or a doctor instead of a boy with a chopper that hold the cul-de-sac hostage. Kill them all if they gossip, the children of the corn. I can only imagine the children of the corn has to do with white people? Realizing the option of living a lie, drive their body with toxins. I, that's this is only what I can guess. We'll find out. Someone will tell me. Been a lie. Drive their body with toxins. Constantly drinking and drive. Hit the powder, then watch this flame that arrive in his eye. Listen, cow with the concept is aiming. They bang in the slide. Out that bitch with deposit a price on his head. The tots probably go to the projects. Ah. Live inside the belly, had the rough. Copy USA. Made me an angel, an angel. <laughs> Pass 
I died, you good, my nigga? Don't even trip. Just lay back and drink that. All right, like I said before, I don't know a lot about what that's about. Um, you guys have to tell me in the in the content. I don't know if there's if that's just lyrics or if he's uh, talking about truth in his past. I know a lot of this stuff really does come from truth. So, guess we'll find out. Let me know. So we're gonna go to Samson, the Sixth Sense. This one I know will have a different point of view because I've listened to Samson before. Uh. Don't know what this one's going to be about, but we'll find out. Fellow Americans, good morning. Oh, God. Certain dates echo throughout history. Oh, no, I know what this is all about. January 6th attack on the United States Capitol. Yeah. January 6th Capitol insurrection. January 6th. Insurrection. January the 6th. January 6th. Including dates that instantly remind all who have lived through them where they were and what they were doing when our democracy came under assault. These clear acts of sedition and violence and terrorism. A violent terrorist attack on the Capitol. Such an attack on our democracy. Violent attack to overthrow an election. The worst attacks in American history. If I can't have it my way, I'll burn the whole country down. Dates that occupy not only a place on our calendars, but a place in our collective memory. December 7th. 1941, September 11th, 2001, and January 6th, 2021. I sure hope he's going to rip on them about, about that because those are three dates that should never be put in the same goddamn context. <laughs> oh my God. 2001, and January 6th, 2021. Flash, nobody gives a fuck about it. We all admit that shit was pretty dumb, but that's about it. When we saw the news, we were shocked and we were kind of tense. Like, damn. Then we forgot about it by the 10th. Yeah. Nobody's walking around stressing over Jan 6. It happened and that was it. We haven't gave a damn sense. It's all good when riots are kept in the hood, but now you're freaking out because this was in the neck of your woods. Mm -hmm. Now it's a big deal. Now it gets real. Now it's important to us. Not back then in 2020 when stores were boarded up. Not back then when goods were looted and folks were brutalized. It's not then, but right now, because it happened to the suit and ties. Huh. That shit's way above my head. And isn't that the exact truth, man? That's exactly what what happened. When the riots in 2020 or the protests in 2020 were going on and people were looting and people were uh, burning down cities, buildings, businesses, no one gave a fuck about it. They were peaceful protests. And now you have a bunch of middle-aged old white people hanging out outside the goddamn capitol building uh and then they go inside and they don't rush it they don't burn anything down and it's like the biggest insurrection in the world it just doesn't it doesn't make sense logically yeah that was stupid it was stupid as hell i don't know why they did it it's whatever there's all kinds of conspiracy theories about what actually happened there i won't go into that but it's it's just dumb. You can't compare the two. There's no nothing the same about any of those dates. Uh, just dumb. Eyes not then, but right now, because it happened to the suit and ties. Huh. That shit's way above my head. We were fucking shit up all year with demonstrations that left dozens dead. But people like Nancy didn't flinch. In fact, they loved it then. People will do what they do. Bitch, ain't that what you said? Yep. There's literally <laughs> compilation videos of you and all your colleagues inciting this kind of crap. So it's very fascinating to watch you swallow your words. You put your own foot in your mouth and now you're forced to dial it back. Mm -hmm. It's fine when you encourage it in my town, in his town, in her town, when the whole fucking city's being burnt down. You smile as you give the green light for mobs to rob shit. But as soon as it comes close to you, then it's a problem. Got it. <laughs> I don't condone what happened on that day, especially the officers that were assaulted. I would never dare. But as for all the politicians that were there, you fuck us over all the time. So don't expect us to care. I care more. Isn't that the fucking truth? I care more about the businesses that were burned down and the people who lost their businesses during the uh, riots or protests, whatever you want to call them. Uh, in 2020 and beyond than I ever would about the any of the Congress people feeling scared. Oh no. 
Like he said, you guys fuck us enough. <laughs> For all the politicians that were there, you fuck us over all the time. So don't expect us to care. I care more about the store owner that's getting beat down. Exactly. Shop just for trying to protect his place of business. He would probably help me if he saw me on the ground dying. Y'all wouldn't do a damn thing. Shit, you probably say good riddance. You walk right over me like I was a crack. And you were trying to save your mother's back like a five-year-old kid. If you did acknowledge me, you probably nudge my body and go, huh? Little fucker must have died of COVID. <laughs> you know it's true. Stop bluffing. All right. They do absolutely nothing that is trusting. Mm. Kamala, for you to compare this to Pearl Harbor and 9-11 is disrespectful and fucking disgusting. Mm, That's the most self-centered thing that I've ever seen. Compared to those events, it's not even worth remembering. No one that I know is even still paying attention to it. We'd all forget this shit in like a month if nobody mentioned it. Yep. And you know it too. Uh -huh. You're gonna milk this thing and squeeze it till it's bone dry and it won't drip any mm. juice while you're Stupid committees wasting money convicting people from a year ago while CNN runs continuous loops. Yep. We would rather hear you address a million other issues. We don't want to listen to you cry. Get a fucking tissue. So many things could be dealt with in a GIF, but you would rather sit in front of us and smell your own shit. I refuse to show concern for a group of people that I have no respect for. I won't go there. I'm not happy about it. I'm not mad about it either. I'm just neutral on the issue. I just don't care. Yep, uh, that's about the dead truth. There's less cool lines. We're going to hear that again just because it's the damn truth. There. I'm not happy about it. I'm not mad about it either. I'm just neutral on the issue. I just don't care. Don't care. Yeah, I'm back. All right, that was Samson with Sixth Sense previously with the uh, Kendrick Lamar's Mad City. Like I said, I don't know a lot about rap. The only reason I know more about Samson is because I have reacted to more Samson stuff here. Uh, I want to expand my horizons. So if there is stuff out there that is political on both sides uh, that you'd like me to react to in opposing views, uh, That'd be awesome if they can if they connect together that's great if not it doesn't really matter i just this is just an idea i'm going with kind of wanted a theme doesn't really matter if, to me if it works or not uh, i i like the idea uh and it's going to expand my horizon uh i have other opposing views going on that are coming up in the future we'll see how this goes um anyway don't forget, I stream on YouTube and Twitch. Stop by if you want, and we can chat about anything you like. Play some games together, watch me play, whatever. Um, link to all my social media is in the description below. Um, watch for the polls coming up and that are out there for Fan Choice Friday, where you guys get to pick what I react to on the next Friday. With that, I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll catch you all next time.